Brave Voice Mother and today I'm going to be reacting to Heart Soul with two extremely special guests. We have Justin from Beatbox International joining us and none other than Stitch himself. Stitch is here. So I have some help analyzing some of these techniques today, which I have heard from a very reliable source. You're gonna see crazy basses, high basses, crazy low basses, combinations of sounds, whistles, just using every, almost every single vocal component, I would say. So we're gonna see crazy in all forms. Let's do it. Hi guys. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh. <laughs> so, so sweet. Hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> I won't be fooled by this sweet exterior. Hi guys, my name is Harzel and this is my solo workout for the GBB23 World League. Unrap it on the mind, forget up and make a nasty intro. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Let go. It up and make it nice. <laughs> she went the boss night and she went crazy. <laughs> the face, the boss night. Where to start? Okay, so if we if we start here. So with do you say this is like a really tight closing of the lips and a sound of like this kind of and then a sound from here? It's actually a throat bass <clears throat> combined with either your teeth or your lips or doing the trumpet sound. So if you do like oh, with teeth, amazing. He does it with his teeth? Mm -hmm. So with the trumpet sound, I think it's a combination of both. First you need to learn the trumpet sound. Touch your teeth to your bottom lip, kind of like a smile and an F. And you will feel a little vibration between your teeth and your lip, like Okay. And you kind of, your tongue is kind of like an R. Er, er. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, she's, she, she's gonna be a beatboxer in the future, guys. She's learning too fast. Too fast. We gotta stop her. She's <laughs> <laughs> gonna overtake us. I think we've got a long way to go yet. Don't you worry. In the backseat, unwrap it on the mind, forget up and make a nasty intro. Oh, it sounds like, you know the telephone, like, intercom plugins the you use sound. for... Just like straining your voice. Yeah, so that's probably done by uh, something called the glottis, you know, the little space between the folds. You, um, you squeeze the very source where the actual sound is produced. Uh... And then... Right, right. Like, the way he does it, it seems more on top, like, instead of like... Uh, it's more like... Uh, uh, compared to uh, exactly, it's, it's not the it's, it's not the tiny from the outside. It's far more in the inside. Get up and make a nasty intro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the <clears throat> how would you describe that? <clears throat> It's actually inspiration. Breathing in the air, you have your vocal growl, like, <sighs> right? This is an inward version of that, whereby you're also using your false vocal folds to create that kind of bassy texture. Wow. Oh. Is, it, is he inhaling for his nose? Correct. You can do it both. You can do it both ways. <laughs> Stop it! Justin, you want to give a bit of a demonstration, then I can show mine as well. Let's say I do like, right? You you feel you hear that kind of chest chesty bassiness, right? Just like a muscle which you haven't used before. It's gonna take some training. Oh wow! Oh wow! <clears throat> 
takes a lot of practice. When beatboxers learn it, they tend to find their throats inflamed a little bit. It does feel uncomfortable because it's not a sound you normally do. It's definitely learnable. Just need to be careful with it that you don't like overstrain or do it too much. Wow. <laughs> Do you know about that whistle sound? I've got no idea. This is actually called the Ralik whistle because in the beatbox community, he was probably like one of the first few people to use the sound. His name is Ralik. A few years ago, Harzul heard that sound and he was like, you know what, let me just do it better. And then he leveled it up. He, right now, he's probably the best user for this whistle in the beatbox community. So this is like the best, the number one you're gonna hear. Why, why don't you guess how he does it before we explain? Challenge accepted. No. Okay. All right, so the, there's a lifting of the tongue. So there's Okay, let me see if it's in her Is it an inhale? No. No. Exhale. Exhale. Yo, what? No way! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Mix it up and make a nice <laughs> do this uh, yesterday this like little plop sound so it's a combination of two sounds one is let's call it the whistle whistle sound water drop whistle sound using the air in your mouth not using any from your lungs you're just using your jaw to push the air out saying something like white or what and so your tongue moves forward as you do it so okay that's the first step. The next step would be to be combining it with this sound, which is what we call the clop. What you're doing is you're just raising your tongue and letting it clap down on the bottom of your mouth. I think you got it, yeah? Okay. And so when you combine these two, you're going from to Oh, that's amazing! The clop gives it the little attack that sounds like it's dropping in the water. Yeah! For this, this little bass thing, how do we do this? It's just the inward bass, but with a... So instead from through the nose... Okay. Mix it up and make it nice. Is that the tongue? He's having, doing like the trumpet thing from the side. And just switching the gap between one side from the other. And then he's combining it with his throat bass. And there's a little whistle sound there, combining it with the whistle that you just learned. So many sounds, which do I start with? <laughs> I feel like even if you watch this on like a half speed, it would be too fast. Welcome to the beatbox world. I love it! One thing I noticed 
noise that he does. There's a lot of um, like kind of blowing sort of. Is that is that it? It's just yeah. Like... This sound is a really scratchy sound. Maybe if I slow it down for you. It comes from your tongue obstructing the air and going very fast between the sides of your tongue. Maybe a little over and out of your mouth, past your lips. So your lips really control. Control that scratchy sound. Your tongue is basically like this and your bottom teeth are like that. So the air is just flowing right past it through your lips. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so counterintuitive because it sounds like shh, shh, something we are familiar with, but it actually comes from the back of the tongue obstructing the air and the air just flowing past it really fast. Wow. To kind of help you get an idea of where that scratchy sound comes from, you can try putting your finger here and Ooh. just breathe in. Finger right at your knuckle here, so the air comes really, really fast. Ah! Oh. Huh? You, you feel that scratchy sound? Would you have thought that a guy this adorable in the beginning he would have done all of that? No, no, no. He has got such a he's got such an alter ego. Look, I mean the there you go. See, look. Oh, there we go. There he, there's the real picture. Thing. There you are. Thumbnail. This is not you. <laughs> <laughs> lifting right mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's right and there's the there's a it sounds like that whistle is in there too somehow oh there we go you're inhaling yes but you're are you flicking something my tongue is rolling backwards like this but you've got to get the thing but in reverse yeah exactly <laughs> and it's as easy as that it's simple. You 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 probably learn it in like two days or like tonight. <laughs> I just tried it and I think I'm a bit closer. Can someone tell me? <laughs> She's learning everything very quickly. It's actually quite scary. How is that, how is that little effect there? It's actually making that sound through the pockets of air in your cheek and squeezing them out slowly. You have your soft palate raised to make it hollow. If you don't have your soft palate raised, it has a different tone to it. You can use your fingers too, yeah. There's a bit of an easy way to do that. You make like a monkey face like this. You, you know how when people do this smile whenever their friends say something dumb? <laughs> right? You do that, so you puff up your cheeks and then you do that smile. Then, when you got the air there, just press it with your, with your hand. It doesn't want to go! So it's just between your cheek and your teeth. You can actually open your mouth and talk because it's just the pockets of air from my... Yo, yeah, shit. yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Mix it up, mix it up and make it nasty. Do we know how he, he does the thing? The... Oh, you mean the bass? Yeah, it's inward. I think he does a and then and then something like that. He does the slither roll, which is the it's basically your tongue really tight against the roof of your mouth, but the tip is a little bit loose, so it kind of can oscillate against the roof of your mouth. Yeah. All on an inhale. Yeah. All right. 
if, if you notice while he's doing that beat, his whole body is going up. Yeah, he's inhaling a lot of air because he's doing like three different sounds back to back. And the only time where air is coming up is when he does the <coughs> Everything else is just in breathing, breathing. So it's pretty crazy how he's, he's able to like just do it consistently. First few things, like when you first start learning beatboxing, you will learn about drum sounds. You have like the, the kick, the hi-hat and the snare. One of the first things we do is we do <coughs> So that's outward, outward, then inward. So sometimes you don't breathe, you just do a sound that requires you to inhale air and that will help you breathe in and out while you're beatboxing. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Oh, it's fascinating. I've got so much to learn. I'm, yeah. It's just, I feel like you probably never get to a point where you can, you, your mind is safe from being blown. <laughs> yeah. Even as like experienced-ish beatboxers that we are, like we have been in the community for a relative good amount of years, we are still finding new sounds. And I think um, beatbox, if it's the place where you find things that you didn't imagine humans were able to do. Just when you think you've heard it all, you never have. And the beatboxing community proved that every single day. Thank you so much as always for watching this video today. And thank you for being with me on this journey. I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you so, so much. And I cannot wait to see you again in the next video. Bye. Hello, me again. Sorry, I won't keep you too much longer. I just wanted to wonder out loud if any of you are going to the uh, La Florida beatbox battle in France on the 31st of March and 1st of April 2023 because I'm going obviously I'm not competing I am going as a humble witness to the unicorns I also want to interview some unicorns uh, beatboxers as well so if you are going and you're a beatboxer let me know because I want to talk to you and um, I want to make some videos of you <laughs> That sounds so creepy. Um, and if you are, even if you're not a beatboxer, I would love to see you and hug you. And I can't wait. So yeah, it's next week, next Friday, actually. So if you're watching this at the time of posting. But anyway, hope to see you there. Let me know. Bye.